Sometimes if I was forced to go even out of the country, pursuing a Kenyan who were abducted by Al Shabaab. Current police, they are learned, you guys. The police recruitment, I think, in my tenor, it was D plus and above. There's a graduates, masters, as I am communicating with you. I did my masters when I was a 50, uh, 49 years old. Public administration, police study, degree of Kwanzaa, then later MPA. There's a police now current, every recruitment. I think I don't want to jump on prejudice what they are doing, but there's a graduates. My name is retired Senior Assistant Inspector General Omar Shuri Abdi. I joined the administration police in 1974. After the completion of the training, I was posted to Mandela. I stayed there for five years, then recalled back to the administration police training college to carry out the responsibility of instructor to police, men and women. I rose from the rank of AP constable to senior assistant inspector general of National Police Service. So from 1979 up to 2019, I was doing a commander responsibility. And I retired 2019 from the National Police Service in the Department of the Administration Police. After the retire and serve the police for, for five years, I retired 2019. With a lot of experience and knowledge, with experience and knowledge, I thought instead of just sitting, why don't I draft a piece of paper called a book to give? the younger generation, in order them to use as a reference. That is the circumstances which forced me or opted to write this piece of book which will be launched by the Permanent Secretary Interior, Musta Omar. That's why I wanted the police, young policemen and senior policemen even, and the citizens of the country to have a reference, some subject from that book. I thought, why don't I divide my ideas and skills to the other people? That's correct? Very true. That's what makes me to write this book. I can see cattle rustlers, I can see some the enemies, I just wanted to teach the people or to give preference ownership of this country. There is a chapter, one of my ideas is building ownership and commitment towards the work. I will repeat, I wanted to tell the Kenyans and the security men building the ownership and commitment towards the work. To all mean that. My mother, she was having a small goat and sheep. When she shifted from where to somewhere, she fenced the compound and have their, her instrument and defend or protect her property. I want the Kenyans the security fraternity or the citizens to own the country, to own their country. One of the things. The second, I wanted to emphasize about the community policy for effective security of the country. Because the security managing security 
is collective responsibility. Collective responsibility for all Kenyans. Either you are security fraternity or in the, in the, in the civilian fraternity. If they cooperate because this is a collective responsibility, mm -hmm. the country will be safe and secure. But if they are not going to cooperate, what will happen? That's why also I added, I found it healthy we to add about the community policy, the way, the relationship between the security and the community. I want the police and the, the, the security fraternity to think out of the box. Because usually police are in the towns or anywhere. But the police, especially the administration police, are a compilation of police and paramilitary responsibility. Especially the administration police, they have the police job and paramilitary responsibility. When I say that, you can follow the cattle restaurants or bandits. They can go out of the town in the bush. Don't come back. Follow them. A hard train, problem you get. Be persevere until you complete the assignment. That's what makes me. Not only to think in the Kajiji or in the, no, other groups. I don't want to preempt it because sometimes I was forced to go even out of the country, pursuing a Kenyan who were abducted by al -Shabaab. And recover. <laughs> That's, that's what I want the police to think out of the books. Mm -hmm. Current police, they are at you guys. Mm -hmm. The police recruitment, I think, in my tenure, mm -hmm. it was D plus and above. There's a graduates, masters, as I am communicating with you. I did my masters when I was a 50, uh, 49 years old. Mm -hmm. Public administration, police study degree of Kwanzaa, then later MPA. There's a police now currently, every recruitment, I think, I don't want to jeopardize, prejudice what they are doing, but there's a graduates, officers. They are well educated. <laughs> the message is that they are responsible for the protection of, of, of property of this country. They have responsibility to enforce law and order. They are responsible to arrest and charge the lawbreakers. And uh, I think let them have the heart of ownership of the country and the citizens of the country and also the citizens to support the law enforcement agenda.